Today I'm bringing you a little bonus video, which is a very special announcement. Today I am announcing the Romance Readathon, and this is hosted by none other than Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff. She has gone all out. This is so detailed and it sounds so fun that I just had to participate. So the Romance Readathon is going to start August 1st and go all the way to the 31st. So it is a month long readathon and it is a team based readathon. So there will be five different teams. I am on Team Hoyden with Lisa from Remarkably Lisa. And um, I just thought it was a really fun one because she was like in disguise at a gambling hell. And I was like, sign me up. This is a very Bridgerton-esque readathon. So every Sunday there will be like a society paper that comes out that will be issuing a challenge, which will be fun to participate in, that you can rack up extra points for. The goal of this readathon is to find a love match by the end of the season. <laughs> and the amount of points that you rack up will determine um, who you end up with, whether it be a Duke, an Earl, a Viscount, a Baron, those kind of things, a Baroness, those kind of things. There are um, male, female storylines, and there's also sapphic storylines. So I think that's great. Also, um, I'm going to put the point system up here. While it is a romance readathon, you can really read from any book any genre. You don't have to read romance books. However, reading a romance book, a historical romance book, an LGBTQA plus book, or a BIPOC author book will give you bonus points. So this readathon sounds so much fun. There is a Discord as well. Um, I am fairly new to Discord, but I have been loving chatting with everybody there. So please join the Discord and make sure you check out all the rules. The sign up sheet will be there. Um, that's where you want to head first. I'll also put the instructions up on the screen, but also again, all of these will be linked down below and make sure to check out Maggie's video as well, announcing everything. She will probably have the whole storyline and everything up on her channel. Um, and I will let her explain that. This readathon is really just meant to be fun and relaxing, really conducive to mood reading if you're a mood reader. Um, so really just have a lot of fun with it. Read whatever you want to read. Um, but I know I will be reading a lot of historical romances because I love that genre and I have tons of books that I want to read for them. So again, there are going to be five teams and I wanted to mention um, all of the lovely ladies who are going to be co-captains in this readathon. Again, you have me and Lisa for Team Hoyden. Um, team Protector is going to be Joanne from Exo Joanna and B from Mama Needs to Read Romance. The Seductresses is going to be Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages and Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. Um, the blue stockings is going to be Patricia. I believe Patricia's on Instagram and Daphne from Being Daphne. And then the wallflowers, which is going to be Hannah from Hannah Blackwell and Maggie. She, yep, she's going to be a co-host or a co-captain as well. So if you want some historical romance recommendations, um, maybe from some other hoydens, <laughs> Some other women who like to disguise themselves as something else for reasons. I do have a few recommendations. I'm not going to go over them super detailed, but I will give you some quick ones. Um, first off is No Rest for the Wicked by Lauren Smith. This one I recently read for the um, Once Upon a Readathon. This is a pirate romance. Um, in this one, the heroine is dressed up as a cabin boy, which is one of my favorite tropes ever. <laughs> And you know what? She is the best gosh darn cabin boy you have ever met. And the pirate captain is just super impressed and also turned on. So definitely read that one. Um, the only man in disguise on my list is going to be the Marquess Makes a Move, which is from Diana Quincy. In this one, you have a duke who is disguising himself as a footman and he is the worst footman that has ever been. <laughs> And that one is really fun as well. I really enjoyed it. The next one is The Duke's Deceitful Governess, and this is by Carolyn Lee. Um, in this one, she pretends to be a governess. She knows nothing about children, and now she is thrust on this estate to teach these children. <laughs> and it's a very cute romantic comedy, historical romance. 
The next one I have is A Matter of Temptation, where the heroine has to disguise herself as her brother to win a duel. <laughs> I love a good duel. The last hoyden I have to recommend is The Perks of Loving a Wallflower by Erica Ridley. In this one, the heroine disguises herself as everyone because she just is a master of disguises, including like this crotchety old aunt that sleeps all the time. <laughs> so those are my quick, very quick recommendations if you do decide to join Team Hoyden with me and Lisa. I'm so excited for this readathon. Make sure you check out all the links below, use the sign up form, and also please join us on the Discord. Even if you've never Discorded before, I haven't either, but it's a lot of fun and we just get to chat about our favorite books. So that's it I have for this um, announcement. Again, please check out Maggie's video. She will have more details on the storyline of everything. And as always, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.